What you just saw was the aftermath of a young boy, 12 years old, who decided to destroy his family's home because the mother would not allow him to have access to his cell phone as a punishment. Now, the first thing I thought was there's no man in the house. She's raising this son. And I'll tell you something, ladies, when you are a single mother and you are whipping your sons behind and he's single digits, there comes a point. And every mother who's old enough will tell you this is true. There is a point when the testosterone kicks in and the puberty starts and that boy starts becoming a young man and you cannot physically handle him anymore. That's why you had scenes like Boys in the Hood back in the day where Angela Bassett said, yo, I'm, a bit, I'm sending you to your father because they knew better. Now you can beat on these boys all you want, but once they turn about 12, 13, 14, there's no more physical punishment unless you're going to take a bat to the head or try to kill him. And this is the aftermath of a woman trying to discipline her son with no male figure, no guidance, no direction, and him behaving with the emotional uh, mentality of a woman and reacting with the physical power of a man. And it was very sad to see because you could see the family is destroyed. The house is totally destroyed interior-wise. Refrigerator flipped over. Everything is a mess. Everything is banged up and ripped up to shreds. Now, as a father myself, I have not used draconian punishment on my children, but there was always the threat of, and they knew better than do anything so outlandish. And I have two sons, one of which is in college now. Never would this have happened on my watch. And this is what I say to sisters. When you have a home with no male guidance, no male authority or direction in it, or at least you don't have a connection with the father of your child where he can step in and talk to the child, there eventually becomes a point you have no control. And that's when you want to give him back to the father. That's when you want to kick him out in the street. And you have to understand it takes that masculine balance to keep these boys in line. And you have to see a man to be a man. Now, this boy acted in a way that was emotionally very feminine. And physically very masculine. And I'm sure he was around his mother and his cousins and his sisters and saw them act buck wild and crazy. But you see the different level of violence that men can go to. The functionality of a home is balanced within a man and a woman there. To give nature and to give nurture. If not, you end up in situations like this. Where you beat on the boy left and right. And eventually he comes of age and you can't beat him no more. And now you have no control and they have no respect. Get fathers back involved in the lives of these children.